The Trump administration slamming new sanctions on Russia for its meddling in a 2016 election and its organization of malicious cyber attacks. This while the UK plans to build nearly a $70 million chemical weapons defense center just days after the poisoning of a former Russian spy on British soil. Here now to discuss Herb London, London Center for Policy Research President, along with Lan He Chen, uh, former policy director for Mitt Romney and a Hoover Institute research fellow. Lonnie, let me start with you. Um, uh, it, it's, you know, the Trump administration was getting a whole lot of flack for not coming out with these sanctions earlier, although they've taken a lot of steps to thwart Russia and their ambitions that never really get uh, mentioned in the media. What was announced today? Do you think that's enough? Well, I think it's substantial, Charles. And by the way, the Trump administration was one of the uh, first to act, acted very aggressively in Syria, you may recall, very early in the Trump administration. And that was an action taken, uh, frankly, directly in opposition to Russian interests. So the notion that the Trump administration hasn't acted, I think, is a little bit inaccurate. You know, you can never be tough enough on Putin, in my mind. So going forward, I would like to see continued action against the Russians, continuing to send them the message that they cannot engage in this kind of behavior. They cannot mess with American democracy, and they cannot mess with our allies around the world. I think it's very important for the U.S. to keep the pressure up. That having been said, today's action is consequential. It is significant. It does go to the heart of the Russian meddling in the 2016 election, and for that reason, people should take notice. And yet, Herb, uh, should, we, should we brace, though, for another round of that kind of meddling in the, in the midterms? Well, you can be sure that something like that will occur again, and, you know, there's a history of this. Uh, you can remember 10 years ago, Litvinenko in Russia had uh, some polony polonium put into his tea, and he, he died. It's a consequence. We should not allow this sort of thing to happen. I believe that the, take the steps taken are consequential, but insufficient. My belief is that we should start freezing all Russian assets in the United States. All Russian assets. All Russian assets in the United States. Let me tell you, that sends a message. It sends a me message to Putin, who is very, very aggressive. In, in interfering not only in the United States' politics, but in our corporations as well. And it's time for the United States to say enough is enough. We've had a, an administration, uh, the past administration, had acted in a somewhat appeasement manner when it came to Putin. Now I think we have to act in a very different way. What about, let me ask you, the, uh, the poisoning of the former spy and his daughter on British soil. Theresa May really came out forcefully. I mean, I mean, she, you know, a lot of people are saying it was, it was Thatcher-esque, uh, you know, in her force. But they are limited in what they can do. The, you know, expelling 23 diplomats, uh, you know, they don't have any sort of military. They can't really, they don't have, they, there's limits to what they can do. How much should we even ha assist the U.K. with respect to even that issue to send another firm message to Putin? Well, keep in mind, you've got a lot of these Russian, Russian, very Russian wealthy people living in the U.K., you could send a message to them. And there's no doubt there are a lot of assets there. Right. A lot of those $100 million pads oh, in London well, belong to Russian exactly, oligarchs. Exactly. Right. These right. oligarchs play a very significant role in the Russian economy. All right. Uh, we've got to wrap it up. But, Lonnie, I want to ask, uh, do you think we'll see major, um, major uh, Russian interference in the midterms, uh, midterm elections? It's par for the course as far as the Russians are concerned, Charles. We know they've done this throughout Eastern Europe. We know they've done it in Western Europe. Now they've done it in the United States. I fully expect them to try and do everything they can to disrupt not just the elections, but to sow discord in our democratic society. And that's why we have to act and act aggressively. Absolutely. Gentlemen, thank you both very much.